Hi everyone, it's Andre Luis from Fixed PLM again. Ew. This time I'm going to show you a little bit of the Solid Edge Motion interface. Tá bom. Uh... We had some feedback from the NX Motion video, so I'm trying to make a very similar example to show the Solid Edge interface which is also as user friendly as NX and as simple to use as the other one as well. Well, I have a set here with a few pieces. I'm going to define within that set some moves similar to the one in the motion example I made earlier. I'm going to enter the motion module in Solid Edge by clicking here on the little motion icon. It opens a tab called Motion. Here I have the components defined and here I have the separation of the assembly. Now we have to select which of the pieces will stay fixed and which will move. So the base here is going to be fixed. I'm going to move it here to the ground parts. And the other parts will be moving, so go to moving parts. Well, so far I've only defined the pieces that will move and the ones that will stay fixed. Hmm? Now let's create the joints. I will create a revolution joint. It's very simple. I select the first component, any part of it, with respect to the second component, the location where the joint will be, and the direction, I also select some element. Create the first joint. Okay, then I add the movement. I'm just going to create the joints now. Create the second joint of this component. With this component, the positioning of this joint will be here in the center. Okay, one more revolution joint now of this component, with the component that will be fixed. His location could be in that center. And the guidance. So. It may be in this orientation. Beleza. We have the three joints created, but for now none of them moving. So I'm going to select the first joint, enter its property. Here in motion I'm going to define the movement. So it will be a movement of speed, 360 per second, a constant speed. Okay. So there, the icon even changes to saying that it is a joint and it has movements. The second joint, which is the one between these two components, I'm going to put it as harmonic displacement. I'm going to put a 60 degree angle and the frequency defines the speed of this movement. Let's go to the third joint. I'm going to put about 15 degrees of speed and I'm going to put a lower speed, about 20. Okay, I've already defined the joints. I've defined the movement of the joints. Now I just need to calculate so I click on this icon down here and now it's moving. Note that the angle of revolution 2 and joint 2 is 60 degrees. The angle here is the angle here is 15. Let's increase the speed a little bit and this one here let's increase the angle a little bit instead of 15 degrees. Let's go around 30 degrees here keeping the same speed just confirm if it's saved let's rotate again improve the speed of the blade to the speed of the blade. So you notice that the movement in Edge's soda is also very simple, the creation of this movement. So I hope you enjoyed the video and join our forum. People appreciate the opportunity. A hug to everyone.